Hola. Hey. I'm going to tell you a secret. I don't have the end of my story yet. No. Okay. My name is Maria Dolores Molina Muñoz. Mm -hmm. My friends and family call me Loli. My husband, just to piss me off, he calls me Lola. And my students call me Miss Molina, 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 Miss Molina. I'm famously known for having an accent and hurting my eye with a banana in 2013. But that's another story. And being able to move my neck in every possible angle. And in every situation. And why do I move my neck over and over? Because it hurts. I've been having neck pain and headache since forever. I don't remember when I did it, not even, I don't know, first communion, I don't know. And I have tried everything, okay? Physical therapy, chiropractor, yoga, swimming, everything. And I even bought a book, the McKenzie book, How to Fix Your Own Neck, something like that. Didn't work. I have also went to doctors, okay? Doctors in Spain, and fortunately they were free. You know, we have what they call universal healthcare system. Mm -hmm. That's super scary socialism. And I've been to doctors in America too, the US. Doctors in America, what a trip, guys. What an experience. So last month I went to a doctor, okay? I called this place that I found on the internet because the name was like, so it looks so professional, no? Lexington Spine and Brain Institute. And I was like, they must be good. They have to fix me. So I went to the doctor and I told him my neck hurts and I have headaches. And he said, first, you don't have headaches from your neck. You didn't have headaches from your neck, you know? And I was like, <laughs> we, this is not a good start. And then, let, but let me check your x-ray. And he looks at my x-ray and he says, your neck looks great. Perfect. And I look at him like, you must give me another answer, Lexington Spine and Brain Institute. No, that's a, uh, no. No, it looks great, indeed. Your vertebras are wonderful, beautiful. Great space, everything. And I still look at him like, no, it's no, no, it's not an answer. And he said, wait, wait. Maybe I know why. Indeed, you have a very long neck. I have a long neck, he said. And your neck hurts because you have a long neck. I look at him like, that is not an answer. Still, I don't like it. So he was like, okay, we're gonna do an MRI and you have to return October 18th. <laughs> you see, it's an open story. So, okay. Do the MRI, still waiting for October 18, but what do you do in the meantime? What do you do when you don't know what's going on with your body? Where do you go? Google. <laughs> you go to Google. So I was like, I have to Google. Okay, I need some information. And you Google, because it neck pain, headache, symptoms, uh, occipital neuralgia, migraines, normal stuff, brain tumor, all you can have when you have this kind of pain. But still, in the back of my mind, I was like, you have a long neck. You have a long neck. And I was like, what about giraffes? They have a long neck. Their neck must be in pain. 
And I was like, gonna Google about giraffes. What do they have long neck? Hmm? Scientists, they have argued about this for centuries. And I have a, I'm gonna summarize it for you, okay? So this guy, Lamarck, French, he said that um, giraffes have long necks because they try to um, reach high branches and that super cute characteristic they they uh, their heritage they, they evolve yeah I didn't get the word you see mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not looking at my cards so they that's something that they can transmit to their children yeah. children so okay that was like I don't have children so well okay but then Darwin, everybody knows Darwin, huh? Mm, Darwin came and he said, no, no. Some individuals, I remember this, some individuals like me, they have slightly longer necks. Mm -hmm. And little by little, because they have those low, uh, long necks, they can reach those branches. And they are more successfully reproductive. Mm-hmm. Okay, I was like, okay, good thing, successfully reproductive, because I have a longer neck. And then someone came up to Darwin. This was Maverick, he was English, and he said, no, because he was like, no, we forgot religion. I was like, why do we have to put religion in everything? We forgot religion. What happens is, if these uh, giraffes, they can reach those branches and they evolve, what happened to the other vertebrates that didn't evolve? Why didn't evolve? Didn't they evolve? And Darwin say, you got a point. And I continue reading and reading and reading, and the article was so long that I had to stop because my neck hurt. <laughs> okay? So I was like, I need to find my own theory. What happened? Why do people like us have long necks, okay? And I just said, I call myself a giraffe woman. <laughs> giraffe woman, but there are giraffe people, okay? Physically, as a giraffe woman, you can see I'm short. I had to stretch my neck so many times, like uh, to get to the high shelves in the supermarket, to uh, a couple of tall boyfriends I had to. That was painful sometimes, but still <laughs> worth it. And then that was physically, okay? But metaphorically, you have to stretch your neck over and over and over for so many situations in life. And you have to jump and you have to tiptoe and you have to keep on trying. And that hurts, that hurts. And you know what? That doesn't show an X-ray and an MRI. And it's there, that pain is there. And we had to keep on trying and trying and trying and stretching our necks. But there is healing, mm, there is healing. And probably doctors will never tell me what to do with my neck. They will never know. But to me, the best healing is telling the story of my neck and telling everybody, hey, giraffe people, Giraffe people, we are here. I see you, giraffe people. I see your pain, okay? I see your pain, and the best healing is sharing our story and finding places that even if they are high, we're gonna reach them because we have our community. <laughs> Gracias. Oh my goodness, all right.